Hi guys, this week I'm going to help you disassemble and customize this Maisto Porsche GT3. Let's get started! This is the Maisto Porsche 911 GT3 that was available at my local Costco this year. You can get it in black, red, yellow, or blue, depending on where you live. I saw right away that this car was a popular one on different social media groups, and everybody wanted to customize it to a certain extent. So I've decided to make this video about it and help you customize this car to your taste. One small detail here, in order to separate the two main parts of the car, you must lower the steering column first and then you can separate the two main parts. The back glass and the wing are tricky to remove because the wing was installed first and then the back glass was installed over it. So in order to remove all this, you have to be very careful. I've decided to go wingless on this one to give it a more sleeper look. In order to remove the wheels, you have to use a screwdriver that you put in this hole and then you pull as hard as you can. All jokes aside, it's very hard to remove the wheels on these car. But if you use the technique that I use, you will do fine. For the customization part, I've decided not to go too crazy on this car. Just painting some uh, yellow accent on the inside so it'll pop up really nice when I reassemble the car. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a good time to do so. And also, you can look just above the description of my video. There's a new icon there. It says super thanks. You can donate two, five, maybe $10 to the channel. It would really help the channel grow. All the money received will be placed in a new camera, which I desperately need. And I'm planning on buying a 3D printer 
so I can improve my diorama building skills. So thank you very much for all your donation and let's get back to the show. Removing the front wheel on this car is possible by using the same technique as for the rear ones. I didn't have to remove the front wheel, but I've noticed something odd with the front calipers. They were not positioned in the right way. So uh, upon inspection, I realized that at the factory, Maisto put the left side on the right and the right side on the left. So I changed all that and put the wheels back on the hub. Yeah. 